In today's video, I am going to test how long the EcoFlow Delta II can power my refrigerator. In case of an emergency, this is something I would want to know. And surely because you clicked on this video, you want to know as well. So stay tuned. First things first, we're at 29% on the EcoFlow Delta II. So I'm going to charge it up via the AC power cord. And this is actually the first time charging it since I received the unit. So I'm gonna make sure it, I get it all the way to 100%. But once we're at 100%, I'll plug in the fridge and we'll see how long the Delta II can power my refrigerator. We're at 100% charge and it's now time to plug in the fridge. The cord for the fridge is plugged into the wall back here. And I've got the fridge plugged into the power station. It's now one o'clock on Monday. From this point forward, we will assume the fridge is in an emergency. For reference, this is what the inside of the fridge looks. It is loaded with lots of food and the fridge is obviously already cold. Here's what it is set for and that's what we keep it at all the time. Also, it's currently 69 degrees in the house. I'll update you as time goes by on the battery percentage of the Delta II. Here's a little update, a little past halfway. It's 8.45 and we are at 43% battery life left. I've checked it periodically throughout the day and it's, con it's consistently been pulling 132 watts every time that the fridge turns on. And since we started at one o'clock, it has been going for seven hours and 45 minutes and we've used 57% of the battery. Okay, so it is 1016, which means the Delta II has been powering my refrigerator since one o'clock for nine hours and 15 minutes roughly. And we are at 32% battery life left. I didn't plan this out very well because at this rate, it's probably going to finish around 1 to 2 a.m. We'll see if I can muster up the strength to come check on it then. Okay, I made it. So it's <clears throat> 2.02 a.m. The Delta has been running for 13 hours and it is still has 15% battery charge left. So I'm gonna try again in another couple hours to see how much longer the power station will last. So I set another alarm for 4 a.m. but I missed it and it is now 6.14 a.m. and the Delta II is dead. So opening the fridge, I mean, everything's still very cold to the touch, so no problems with the fridge. And also this is what the freezer looks like. Everything's still frozen. Luckily I was able to hear my first alarm at 2 a.m. this morning, but I definitely missed the second one at 4. Since the Delta II had 32% battery left at 10.15 p.m. last night and 15% battery life left this morning at 2 a.m., that's 17% of battery life consumed in 3 hours and 45 minutes. Based on that, I can assume that it was using about 4.5% battery life per hour, which means that it would have lasted another 3 hours before it died. So starting at 1 p.m. on Monday and finishing around 5 a.m. on Tuesday morning, that means it powered my fridge for roughly 16 hours. I think it's important to note that in a true emergency, I could prolong the battery life by only running the fridge when it actually needed it instead of maintaining a steady temperature. Depending on the conditions, it could potentially last a few days which in the meantime, a solar panel could be recharging the Delta II with the hopes of being able to run the fridge indefinitely, of which obviously that is the best case scenario. However, knowing that the fridge consumes about 132 watts, as long as the solar panels are producing more than that and storing up energy enough for it to run throughout the night, it should be a good resource to use as an emergency solution. The Delta II can receive up to 500 watts of solar, so if you have the right conditions and enough solar power, you should be good to go. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.